Hello, hello. My name is Callista and welcome back to Life is Strange True Colours. In the last episode, Alex managed to escape the mines, she confronted Jed on all of his sins, and now she has a bit of free time to herself. What will she do with all of this newfound information? Let's see. Oh, that was good. That was so good. And the news is still coming in on the Typhon mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs, where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven Typhon employees as their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover-up, which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody, awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right. Yeah, the silence is worse. I need to get some air. After summoning all my strength and willpower, I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. I, oh my god, that was an amazing sequence. That was an amazing sequence. I, oh, I love that. I love that so damn much. Um, oh, right at the end there, forgive or condemn. Um, as I said, I think, I think Alex this whole time she's been putting other people's emotions before her own. My emotions are secondary to yours. You deserve emotional comfort whilst I don't. Jed, the only time he actually acknowledged what he had done, he shot at us and pushed us down a mine shaft. At no point did he ever take responsibility. Instead, he just, he just did the whole like, I'm going to, plaster over it i'm gonna put a band-aid on it see how nice i am i'm letting you use this apartment i'm not charging you rent i've given you a job aren't i so kind no no because all you need to do is acknowledge yeah i'm responsible for killing your dad and you don't want to do that you're actively avoiding it you are doing everything you can to cover it up and up and up and up and all of these niceties all of these things you are doing are hollow they are hollow and fake and fraudulent. This isn't kindness. It's you assuaging your guilt. None of it is real. None of it is real. The only time you were real, you tried to kill us. Fuck you, I'm not going to forgive you. I'm not going to forgive your ass when you have done nothing. Nothing real or genuine to try and earn that forgiveness. Absolutely not. Screw him. I love this guitar, but if it starts asking me riddles again, I'm throwing it out the window. <laughs> okay, we can't we can't get dressed up. And um, let's let's lie down for a bit. I've been playing a lot the last two days trying to think things through but I realize it's actually the opposite when I'm playing is the only time I get to not think not think about Jed or Gabe or dad and what could have been if he'd never come to this town most of all what I don't think about is me because I've never been good at that and suddenly it's the only question that's left so, I just keep playing. I'm gonna give it a few. 
few more seconds, just in case she has anything else to say. Maybe Dad deserved everything he got, but I'm still glad we were there with him in his last moments. Oh, it... That's such... It's such a bugger. It's such a bugger, because we don't know what his plans were. We don't know what his plans were. Maybe he was going to go away for a few months and then come back, you know, go to social services and say, hey, I've got my shit together. I've got all of my shit together. I've got an apartment. I've got a job that I've been holding down for the past few months. Give me my kids back. We don't know. We don't know because he never got that opportunity. Hello! But yeah, he never got the opportunity to redeem himself or continue fucking up. He died. Couldn't bring himself to get rid of it. You ever swing a pick before, Mr... Chan. Chan. And no. But I... I'm a hard worker. And I learn fast. And I don't mind long hours. You don't have somebody waiting on you at home? No, sir. Well, John, guess you're a hell diver now. Chad must have thought he was seeing a ghost the first time Gabe walked in. Still looking out for me, huh, Pike? Alex, found this in Jed's house after everything I thought you ought to have it, Pike. Hang on a minute, was that? Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, we have, we have all of this. Um, okay, give me a minute. Give me, we have the business card. Go, go, there we go. Business card, chapter five. After this, CPS became the name we called the boogeyman. Watch out or CPS will come. Be nice and quiet or you'll get swallowed up by CPS. Don't fight with dab. Don't fight with dad, not dab, Jesus. Don't fight with dad, Gabe, please. Do you want another CPS visit? It was the swinging pendulum dangling over the pit we were in. Gabe especially was terrified of them. For the usual reasons, who wants to be a ward of the state? But also because, despite everything, the idea of losing Dad when we'd already lost Mom made him feel like he couldn't breathe. I think Gabe always hoped that Dad would come around. He had to, right? Eventually? And if he didn't, if we got piled into a town car and driven away from him forever, what else did Gabe have to hope for? Damn. Then... Two, three, four, five. I've done it! I've done it! <laughs> I've never gotten all the collectibles in a Life is Strange game before. I'm so happy. Okay, okay, yes, it was you. Dad, Pendant, Chapter 5. For most of my life, I've known what other people were feeling. Couldn't escape it. Sometimes it felt like I was drowning, flailing to keep my head above water and sinking anyway. In all that time, the only person whose feelings I really wanted to understand was you, Dad. And then I found you at the bottom of the world, and I finally felt what you were feeling. And what's messed up is, your emotions were just so normal. Human, I guess. Fear, regret, same stuff as everyone else. Same stuff I've been drowning in since I was a kid. Shouldn't take an empath to know that, but I think I needed to feel it before I could let you go. And now the only person whose feelings I still need to understand is me. And the bomber jacket. I wonder who he would have been if things had been different. Jun or John, husband or widower, dad or whatever he decided to be instead. What if mom hadn't died? What if they'd never come to the States? What if Gabe and I hadn't come along? Would things be different? Or was there something about him? Something impossibly, bottomlessly sad that was always going to lead him here or someplace like here? 
He didn't have somebody waiting for him at home. He was right. We had already been plucked up and sent away, isolated from him, each other, ourselves. He thought a lot about coming back someday, whether he was strong enough, whether he'd be doing more harm than good. I don't know. I know it would have been nice to look him in the eyes as an adult and get to decide how I feel about him. It's hard to forgive a ghost. Mom's keys. I think I was too young to really understand what she was telling us. I knew that sick people went to the hospital and I didn't want my mom to be sick. That was the extent of it. Damn it. She knew she was dying. Even as she told us that everything was okay, she was thinking about how many seconds she had left with us. She needed us to believe things would be okay. She wanted to give that to us. A month, maybe two, maybe six or seven, where we could just love our mom without ever wondering when she'd be gone. She did it for us, but God damn it, I wish she hadn't. Maybe if I'd known, I would have soaked more of her up, kept more of my memories of her safe. And guitar strings. They didn't get it. I wasn't just being a brat and I wasn't acting out for attention. That guitar was fucking sacred to me. The only thing I could do to keep myself from losing it in the dorms every night, especially as I got older and my whole thing with emotions got worse. But they didn't see that. They saw a little psycho glaring daggers, making demands. I think that's what they wanted to see. I had forgotten how difficult dorms were at night. We all had nightmares, hard to live the sort of life... Oh, hard to... Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, that is the... Hard to live the sort of life that lands you in an orphanage without going through some pretty nightmarish stuff. But the difference was, I had everyone else's nightmares. I just needed to hold my guitar, to press my fingers against the strings, feel the vibration in my belly. That was the only way I could get back to sleep. Um, and that is... Uh, where was the last one? The business card. Yeah, that is... That. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. You know what's happening here. What's going on? Leth Flowers. What a wonderful spring festival. Thanks to everyone who made it such a beautiful celebration. Now spill the beans. Who got a rose? Josh, I know someone who might have gotten one. Julia, I think I might know someone who got one as well. Hector, sigh. Cass, hang in there, but... Ryan, can we brag for someone else? Eleanor, I don't see why not, as long as that someone has given their permission. Ryan, hey Steph, do I have permission to brag about the rose you got last night from your crush? Steph, lol, come on, man. I bet Steph wishes she could reword that, but it's pretty funny. Rory Praha, hello, as many of you know, I'm a freelancer for the Rocky Mountain Gazette. I'm writing an article about this evening's incredible performance at the Spring Festival, but I can't track down the band's name. Anybody know? Steph. Hey man, so we aren't like a band as such, so we don't really have a name. Yet. Rory. Hey, no worries. Can I get your name for names for the article? Steph. I'm Steph Gingrich, the brains of the operation. My muscle is Alex. Lol, she's gonna die when she sees it. <laughs> As Steph is saying this, Alex is being pushed down a mine shaft. Damn. Yep. Yeah. I'm so sorry I worried you all. Oh, Jed, you bitch. Steph, hey, anybody seen Alex today? We agreed to meet up last night, but then she ghosted. Super not like her. Kind of freaking out. Eleanor, oh no, have you contacted Jason? Steph, called his cell, no response. I'll try 911 next. Jed, that's troubling. Haven't seen her. Keep me posted, will you? Mm-hmm. The Black Lantern. The Black Lantern will not open for lunch today on account of the town council vote. We'll see you for happy hour. Aaron. Yes on jobs. Yes on prosperity. Yes on expansion. Ashley. You do realise that expanding mining operations outside of Haven is a temporary fix, right? That's not even considering the environmental impact. Aaron. Do you have any proof? Ashley. What do you want? A bibliography? I don't keep citations at the ready on the off chance I encounter someone who isn't willing to accept the truth. Aaron. That's what I thought. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. That, um, yeah, yeah, that expansion ain't going ahead. Eleanor Leth. Hello, neighbours. Thank you for making last night's Spring Festival such a resounding success. 
Now comes another annual tradition, cleaning up after ourselves. I'll need a few volunteers to help me spruce up the park in the wake of last night's festivities. Work begins as soon as today's council meeting concludes. Drop your names in the hat. Nate, sure, why not? Julia, I'm down. Sam, we're pretty hungover, but Jesse and I might be recovered by this afternoon. Tentative, yes? Eleanor, take care of you first, but if you're feeling up for it, we'd love to have you both. Jed, gotta open the bar. Sorry, darling. And Eleanor, oh, pish. And then, <laughs> fuck you, Jed. It never ends. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm like... Okay, no, don't, don't read ahead, don't read ahead. Gunnison County Sheriff. A statement regarding the ongoing investigation in Haven Springs. We appreciate the community's concerns. Details are still emerging and we are cooperating with the state police. We currently have exactly as much information as any of you. Addendum. State police have tapped Deputy Jason Pike to provide assistance in this case, and as such, management of this account has been handed over to another deputy. While we acknowledge that Deputy Pike has come to occupy a special role in the Haven Springs community, we urge you to direct all inquiries through official channels. Angela. I, Mike, what the fuck? Is, what the fuck are they supposed to do? Angela, I just don't understand how all of this could happen under your noses. What is going on over there? Mike, this is not an acceptable statement. Ben, nothing but respect for our boys in blue. Cass, singular boy in beige who danced to Typhon's tune. Ooh. Add, oh, wait a minute, was that? Uh, where, where was that? Yeah, Aaron. God damn, will you two stop fucking arguing? Will you two stop arguing? Um, Ashley, there is no way the cops didn't f didn't know. There's something they're not telling us. Follow the money. And Aaron dropped your tinfoil hat, you loon. Stop, stop fucking arguing, you two. The phrase recent events is doing some work in this post. Black Lantern, due to recent events, the Black Lantern will remain closed to regular business until further noticed until further notice the poster has disabled replies i do apologize for all of the tongue fumbles um it is boiling hot in the back room i think i'm gonna need to give gilbert a break soon and i am i am sweating cobs i am sweating cobs i don't do well in the heat i've got some continued support for you oh we at typhon mining would like to express our gratitude towards haven springs for your continued support we have issued a statement which is available for you to read on our website this poster has disabled replies only two likes only two likes on that do i need a charlotte Harmon portrait i kind of think i need a charlotte Harmon portrait <laughs> Hello friends, I've decided to open back up to commissions. I think we're all looking for ways to stay busy right now and making art has always been my favourite method. So please get in touch if you want a portrait. I try to keep my rates reasonable and I offer a discount for first time commissions. Josh, awesome news. Ashley, should I call the shop? That works fine, smiley face. And then Jesse, hey Haven, the Record Traders is currently accepting applications. Priority will be shown to applicants with previous retail slash broadcast experience. Fill out an application on our website. We'll be conducting interviews next week. Hector, dope, Cass. Okay, so I'm deaf applying if you're hiring 16 year olds, lol. But um, is there like a sudden opening? Who left? Steph, nobody just yet. To be honest, I'm kind of eyeing the exits, looking for new adventures. Cass, oh, jeez, I'll miss you, Steph. Right back at you, kiddo. Oh. Okay, and that's everything there. How do we have so many messages? Jessica. Okay. Hello, Alex. This is Jessica Martinez from the Rocky Mountain Gazette. I'm sorry to contact you out of the blue. I know you've been through a lot. We are working on a story about the Typhoon controversy and I'd love to speak with you either on or off record about your experiences. I'm not really comfortable talking about it right now. Your comfort would be my priority. Please contact me at this number if you change your mind. Thank you for your time and stay safe. Thank you. At least the journalist is being respectful. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think, yeah, this is, I think this is where, where we're up to. 
Alex, you are incredible and I'm here for you no matter what. Call me the minute you need anything. I know. Thank you for having my back. It meant so much. Of course. How could I not after everything? Heart. Oh, thank you, Steph. And Ryan. Ryan, thank you, buddy. I, I wasn't sure to be up when he was like, I'm so sorry. I was like, shit, he doesn't believe us, but he did. Oh, buddy. Okay, growing up, my dad was my hero. And after the accident, he was the whole town's hero. It was the best feeling in the world to know others saw him the same way I did. And no one questioned it. Even when the strange phone call started, the late nights locking his office when he left the house, but it was all lies, and now I know the truth, because you showed it us. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here. Thank you, Ryan. I will. And Mac. Yeah, hey, Chen. Didn't think you'd actually take down Typhon. You're braver than I ever imagined. Now you owe me a new job. I'm glad you're okay, really. Ha, thanks, Mac. Stop flirting with me, Mac. Stop that. It's not cool. Oh. Oh, ducky. Ducky. Hey, dear Alex, you've been through an awful lot these past few weeks, but your resilience and courage continues to astound me. I have no doubt that you will weather this affront against your person with the same grace as you demonstrated to me during our lovely dance at the Spring Festival, a moment I will not soon forget. So please remember that we are here for you. Sincerely, Reginald McAllister III. I know and I appreciate you sticking up for me, Ducky. Oh, good bloke, Ducky. Charlotte. I don't even know what to say, Alex. My heart breaks for what you have endured. No one should have to live through that. But just remember that Ethan and I are here for you. Thanks, Shah. What you did wasn't easy. I won't forget it. Uh, Ethan. Oh! That's fucking cute! Dad knows what's up. That's awesome, Ethan. You guys look great. Thanks. OMG, I heard what happened. You weren't going to mention being a superhero when I texted yesterday. I'm so glad you're safe. Ha, <laughs> thanks, buddy. Me too. Oh, Ethan, bless you. Bless you, Ethan. Who is Arthur? Who is you? Oh, shit. This guy, dickhead. This is the bad type of journalist. Alex, Arthur Jones with the New York Telegram, we want your story in our ongoing Typhon coverage. When is a good time to speak over the phone? Sorry, I'm not doing any media right now, getting a lot of requests. When did you learn that your father lived in Haven Springs and worked with Jed Lucan? How did it feel to learn that Jed Lucan was responsible for the mining accident that killed your father? Why do you think Jed Lucan confessed to his crime? Why are you a bitch, sir? Why, why do you not seem to understand? Sorry, I'm not doing any media right now. You, you seem to speak English really well, so why don't you understand this sentence, sir? This caller has been blocked. You will no longer receive messages from their number. Good job. Good job, Alex. And then the group chat. Oh, yeah, I was... When I, when I saw... When I saw at the beginning, you know, Steph is on her phone. She's looking towards Ryan. Ryan's looking at her like, any response? No, nothing. I, oh... Ryan, Alex, please pick up. Steph, just let us know you're okay as soon as you can. I'm pretty sure you just lost your phone, but Ryan's freaking out. So yeah, this this was both early in the morning. And that's still, still nothing. Steph, okay, we're both freaking out. We just want to make sure you're safe. Call us. Alex, this was all in the same minute. <laughs> this was all in the same minute. I'm pretty sure these are supposed to be spaced out throughout the day because it, otherwise it just looks like she didn't pick up her phone at 708 bombard her bombard her with calls okay okay x let's have a look around what have we got yeah i looked at the pendant the postcards oh and steph's leaving maybe salem would be cool i'm already an expert in witch trials I, d I don't know how this is going to end. I don't know how this is going to end because I absolutely could see Alex leaving because, you know, Steph is leaving. Steph's our girlfriend. And we've just discovered that this town has, like, we have suffered hella trauma. To quote Chloe Price, we have suffered hella trauma here. I could absolutely see Alex saying, you know what, I want to know, pal. At the same time, literally all of the council members stepped forward and were like, yeah, we back Alex. We back Alex. Fuck you, Typhon. Fuck you, Jed. She's not a liar. She's not crazy. Like, we have found our place. We have found a place where people are like, hey, you're one of us. 
Would Alex really want to leave that behind? Must be rare that a local paper gets to break out the really big headline. The Rocky Mountain Gazette. Eight deaths covered up by typhoon mining, Haven Springs rocked by revelations. The picturesque mountain town of Haven Springs is reeling after a series of revelations that, something, 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 connection to the death of Mr. Chen, Miss Jacobs, location manager overseeing the expansion is, simply unimaginable what that girl has been through, said Miss Leth. Miss Chen has declined repeated expansion efforts halted. Residents are left wondering about the effects of local business and real. See, this is why I try to only read the art sections. Old and new talent shine at Spring Festival. Editors note the following review was filed before the events of the town council meeting the following day. For all related coverage on those events, please see A1, A2, A3, B1, C1, D2, D3, E1, and E2. Flipping it. A surprising newcomer and a three-time veteran joined together to create musical magic under the Spring Festival, so Spring Festival stars on Saturday. Alex Chen, whose brother Gabe Chen, longtime bartender at the Black Lantern, was killed in a tragic mining accident last month, lit up the crowd with her passionate vocals and powerful guitar. It's been a long time since I've witnessed a spring festival crowd dance together with abandon like that, noted Jesse McPherson, local novelist. It was transportative. Steph Gingrich, KRCT DJ and mainstay on the spring festival stage, held down the drums. For what the duo claimed was only their first time playing together, including even practice sessions, colour this reviewer a tad sceptical, the chemistry was palpable. I think I speak for all in attendance when I say here's hoping this is the beginning of a new Spring Festival tradition that will continue for many years to come. Bowed but not broken, Haven will survive. The image of Haven Springs as an idyllic refuge, an oasis of comfort, a and civility blissfully removed from wait an i think that's supposed to be a civility and that is an idyllic refuge a civility blissfully removed from the tumult of the outside world was shattered on sunday in truth that haven never really existed outside postcards and tourism board drivel anyway but while we have weathered troubles and fought demons in the past, we know that this Typhon mining scandal will leave a unique scar on the psyche of our small town. Not just from what took place, horrible enough as those, de as those details are, but from who was involved. A young and beloved bartender, a respected mining industry up-and-comer, and the town's most revered patriarch at the centre of it all. Jed Lucan currently sits in San Miguel County Prison. He is under 24-hour suicide watch for fear that he might try to harm himself. But the harm he has done to this town, to all of us who knew and trusted him over the years, is just beginning to be understood. Still, in the face of this tremendous calamity, we say Haven will survive. We will emerge, if not stronger, at least a bit wiser for having overcome it. We will do this not because it is easy, but because we have no other choice. This is our home. Oh, that was damn good. Was that something on the carpet? No, it was not. Feels like I've been through so much with Eleanor. It meant the world that she believed me. Oh, it did. It really did. I'll never understand exactly what happened to me down there, but I'll always be grateful. Oh, Gabe. Gabe. Oh. Good thing I sold off all my Typhon stock. Typhon CEO resigns amid stock plummet. Sources say FBI investigation imminent. Just hours after a defiant press conference in which he vowed to see his company through the choppy waters ahead, Dennis Walker has resigned as CEO and chairman of Typhon Incorporated. Meanwhile, shares of the global mining concern, once top five in its sector, have nearly halved from $48.27 to $28.22 with no bottom in sight. It all stems from a series of shocking allegations and confessions tied to operations on Western Colorado, where regional operations coordinator Diane Jacobs and former mining team leader, time leader Jed Lucan were arrested for again I do apologize about the tongue fumbles it's so warm it's so warm I'm pretty sure my voice was already heard by everyone who needed to hear it oh 
Uh, Alyssa R at Denver Times. Denver Times request for comment. Alex, I trust you have received my other messages and voicemails. I am asking for 10 minutes of your time. We go to print at eight. Please let me help your voice be heard, Alyssa. Yeah, she doesn't necessarily want that long. Is it weird that the part of this that bothers me the most is nondescript dive bar? Company mining scandal has deep state fingerprints. Irregularities inbound, truth remains buried. What are they hiding? Deep state deniers and wool-eyed cynics, good luck trying to make sense of what went down in the small mountain town of Haven Springs last week. Behind closed doors of a nondescript dive bar, eight town council members gathered to discuss a municipal mining permit. And when the doors opened, one of them was admitting to murder, another to criminal fraud, and yet no one else could explain, in any rational way anyway, how this all supposedly happened. Local taxidermist Reginald McAllister, known to others in town as Ducky, described a near hypnosis in the room as a great man who was made to stand naked before all and exhumated truth begat its rightful place atop the throne. To long-time readers, there goes my timer, to long-time readers, the implications could not be clearer. The town council must belong to, or be servant of, the globalist paragovernmental military industrial nexus that dictates intent international- No, 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 you're crazy. You're crazy. Now, we have an interview. We have an interview. Well, we, we will play that in the next episode, but until then, Please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista, thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.